Hey guys, I just, um, usually on this channel I do um, books for you guys. Um, we're going to talk about stranger behavior. So what is stranger behavior? Well, wearing some goofy glasses might be stranger behavior to some people. But that's not the kind of behavior I'm talking about. We talk about a stranger danger usually with our kids. So usually with you guys or our grandkids or our nieces or nephews. Talk about being careful around strangers, not getting into cars, not taking candy, not taking, you know, not, not going to help them find a lost puppy, things of this, this nature, things that they could trick you to get you into a car. That's stranger danger. Well, what is stranger behavior? Stranger behavior is something you got to watch out for too. The reason why we call it stranger behavior is because it's not a stranger that behaves this way, but it is strange behavior. If someone is touching you in places that they shouldn't, places that you use the bathroom out of, um, places that you cover up with clothing, um, if they're making you feel uncomfortable with those touches, if they're asking you to keep it a secret. Um, this is strange behavior, stranger behavior. This is the way a stranger would, would behave. So it's important that we also protect ourselves from stranger behavior. Make sure that if someone makes you feel uncomfortable, even if it's an aunt or uncle, I mean, sometimes aunts and uncles, they don't mean anything by it. They're not trying to hurt you. Their, their intentions are not to hurt you. They might kiss, you know, might have that the aunt that kisses you all over your face every time she sees you, and it makes you feel uncomfortable. It's okay to talk to mom and dad and say, you know, it makes me feel weird when she does that. You are important. Your safety is important, and how you feel is important. Now, you may not get that aunt to stop kissing all of you, but if you tell her that it makes you uncomfortable, more than likely she's going to respect that it makes you feel uncomfortable, then maybe she'll give you a kiss on the cheek and a hug. Um, but it's very important that you speak up about these things, that either someone's asking you to keep things a secret. Now, there are good secrets, aren't there? You know, if someone's having a birthday, if mom or dad is having a birthday, and the other asks you to keep it a secret, they don't want to ruin the surprise of what they got for birthday or for Christmas. We're not talking about those kind of secrets. We're talking about the kind of secrets that will hurt somebody. You know, it's important that you know how to protect yourself. Stranger behavior is something you have to protect yourself from, just like stranger danger. Okay? So, who do I go to? What if these things are happening and it's my mom or my dad? That's scary. It's very scary. I want you to know that it's still important. Um, find a friend that you can talk to. Find an adult. Find a counselor at school. A church member. Somebody that you trust and tell them what is going on and exactly what's going on so that they understand too. Because sometimes we feel uncomfortable because we're shy. Um, but when someone is touching you, in a certain way, that's not about shyness. That's about your body and your, your, uh, what they call intuition. It's about your insides telling you that something's not right, that you don't feel comfortable with someone touching you that way or trying to get you to keep a secret about kissing you or touching you in places that they shouldn't. Okay. So it's very important for your safety to keep you happy and healthy and your parents, they care about these things. So don't be afraid to talk to them, um, especially if it's from somebody else, if it's an aunt, uncle, friend at school, a stranger, whoever that's doing these things that make you uncomfortable, talk to them. They care about your safety and your well-being. So make sure that you're talking to them about these things. Okay? All right. You guys stay safe. Know that I love you, and I'll see you with the next book. Stay safe.